Hello. My name is Albert from Read Aloud, and this is a new tutorial on open source photography. This tutorial is about using Adobe Camera and Lens Profiles in RAW Therapy 5.9, but it works for any version. First, we need to install the Adobe DNG Converter, because that's how we access the profiles. Open Google, search for Adobe DNG Converter, and choose the right version for your system, whether it's Mac or Windows. If you're using Linux like I'm specifically, Ubuntu 20.04, you can run the Windows version with Wine. Just double-click the downloaded.exe file to start the installation. After installation, the Adobe DNG Converter will launch. Normally, you won't need it again. But if you have a camera like the OM System OM1, which RAW Therapy doesn't recognize, you can use the converter to change .off files to the universal DNG format. This way, you can keep using your favorite RAW editor. To start the Adobe DNG converter later, go to the Wine directory, find the C drive, then Program Files, Adobe, Adobe DNG converter, and there you'll find the .exe file. We mainly installed the Adobe DNG Converter for the camera and lens profiles. Go to the C drive, Program Data, Adobe, and then the Camera RAW folder. Here, you'll find folders for Camera Profiles and Lens Profiles. The Camera Profiles folder has two subfolders, one for Adobe Standard Profiles and another for various camera brands and models. To make it easier, you might want to keep only the profiles for your camera. Now, let's use these Adobe profiles. Open RAW Therapy and load a picture, making sure it's set to neutral before editing. Go to the Color tab, scroll down to Color Management, activate Custom, and click the folder icon. For this example, I'll use an Adobe Standard Profile. Navigate to C Drive, Program Data, Adobe, Camera Raw, Camera Profiles, and then Adobe Standard. Find your camera in the list. You can activate the tone curve and look table checkboxes to enhance the effect. Adobe Standard Profiles are the most neutral. In the Exposure tab, adjust Exposure, Contrast, Saturation, Shadows, Highlights, Tone Mapping, and so on until you're satisfied with your picture. There are other camera profiles in the Camera Profiles folder. Go to Raw Therapy, right-click a selected picture, choose Processing Profile Operations, and click Clear to reset to Neutral. Then, go back to the Color tab, Color Management, Custom, and the Folder icon. Navigate to the Camera folder, where you'll find many profiles, such as Monochrome with different filters, and others like Muted, Neutral, Vivid, and Portrait. For this example, I'll choose the Natural Profile, and activate Tone Curve and Look Table for color grading similar to your camera settings. Adjust contrast, exposure, and other settings in the Exposure tab as needed. Lastly, in the Adobe Camera RAW folder, you'll find LCP Lens Profiles. To use these in RAW Therapy, go to the Transform tab and scroll down to Profiled Lens Correction. First, Try Raw Therapy's built in profiles by clicking Automatically Selected. Raw Therapy will find the best lens profile. Alternatively, manually search the Raw Therapy database by selecting Manually Selected. You can also use Adobe Lens Profiles. Activate the LCP file and click the folder icon to find the best profile in the list of lenses under Camera Raw, Lens Profiles, 1.0, and your lens brand. You can even find manual 
and vintage lens like the old Minolta Rocker lenses. That's how to use Adobe Camera and lens profiles in RAW therapy. This tutorial is part of an article on open source photography. I hope you enjoyed it and liked my voice. Hope to see you again. Bye.